Hi my young artists, we are going to be doing some very interesting stuff today for our project. So let me tell you what, what, what we're going to do. Remember yesterday in class we did shape and form, the elements of shape and form. And we looked at different art forms that rely on the element of shape and form. Next we went into creating the illusion of shape and form using just pencil and on paper. So we went through that and what we're doing for our project now, we're actually going to create art that has actual form. And the way we're going to do that is by using salt dough. And salt dough has just three ingredients. It's all purpose flour, salt, and water. So I'm going to be going through that in this video with you so that you can know how to make the dough and then I'm going to show you examples of what you can create with the dough. Now you have three options that you can choose from. So you're either going to choose, choose to create a John Kuno mask, which is a masquerade mask, as we spoke about and looked at in our class. So either a John Kuno masquerade mask, coming from Jamaica, or a Bundu mask, which is coming from the Mende people in Sierra Leone. Or the final option is to do a self-portrait. And that self-portrait does not have to be realistic. You can make it realistic if you want, or you can make it conceptual, meaning it's something that represents you, but is not actually looking like you. So let's get into it. So we have mixed the all-purpose flour and the salt together and now I'm going to add the water. This is with the lukewarm water added and now I'm going to knead it to get it to a nice smooth and easy consistency to work with. Don't mind that little hand there. <laughs> this yeah. is the dough after I've kneaded it and when you knead it, that's doing this. I need it. It actually helps the gluten bonds to form in the flour so that it can be a lot easier to work with as clay. With the masquerade mask, you can take off a few like okay this is about a third of the dough and this is going to form certain features on the mask and we're going to roll this dough into a ball however you can roll it into a ball okay then we're going to make it a little bit oval shaped and flatten it so now we have the basic face shape and we're going to create some indentures. So we're going to dent here for the eyes. Then we're going to dent here for where the nose should be. And then, well, we don't have to dent where the nose is. But okay, Maki. Okay. So now this. This can form the eyes. Put it in balls. Turn it more to an oval and flatten it just like we did for the face. Okay, Matty. Okay, 
so we have the basic face shape now you can use some of the supplies that you have at home to create some more definition to those lips the rest of this now I'm going to use a little bit just to raise the nose <laughs> some more okay so here is almost like a triangle shape for the nose put that on and when when you place in these things onto like when you want them to stick to each other you can use a little bit of water to help them stick together okay okay so that's the basic face shape and we can use this for your self portrait use this same basic um beginning structure for your your self portrait as well this part we're going to use for the horn and the junk on the mask that we're going to do is the cow head mask so the definitive feature of that is the the horns so you're going to roll the rest of the dough and then we're going to curve it like that to create the horns and that would go somewhere here and we stick it down like that now to ensure and I'm just making a little bit pointy but to ensure that these pieces stick together you can just dip your finger in a little water put it on to the surface both sides and then stick them together so that's the basic face shape and I'm going to use my my chopstick to make some definition in the eyes and I can make some markings on the face I can put the nostrils in and shape the lips a little bit more if I like so that's the basic Jankuno masquerade mask okay so this is my self portrait mask that I'm working on and I'm going to use this ball of dough to make one of these bantu knots so I'll just show you how I made the bantu knot so I rolled it into a sausage shape of sorts like this and then I rolled it on itself in a spiral like that and that's my bantu knot then I put a little bit of water on my finger rub it on and then that's how I attach it to the mask
I put the indentation for the eyes and a little shape there for where the nose should be and the mouth. All right, next we're going to put two small balls together, flatten them and shape them into eyes. And place them in the indentation like we did with the previous mask. Okay, next we're going to put the nose in and that would be a triangle shape again, like that, and we'll put it here. And what I do to connect these is to just dip my finger in a little bit of water, put it on one side and stick it on. So the water is acting as glue okay we have the nose on and now the lips i'm just doing one piece one ball flattened and shaped into the lips Then I'm going to use this skewer to make yeah. tulips yeah. like that. Yeah. And then I'll also use it to create the eyes. And the eyes, I'm going to put them closed yeah. like that. And then we can make the nostrils. Okay. There we go. Alright, next we're going to put the hair in. 